County Ditch 62 is a 658-acre, all-tile, public drainage system, which outlets to an unnamed tributary of the Blue Earth River. The landowner at the outlet wanted to do something to treat the water from the public drainage system. This included installing a water quality unit, three large denitrifying bioreactors, and five alternative surface inlets. I farm uh, around here in Faribault County, mostly in Verona Township. I raise uh, mostly corn and soybeans, and my main uh, tillage system is uh, strip till, and I actually do strip till both corn and soybeans, and some of my soybeans are actually no-till too in my project. And basically a family farm, my wife and my son help me do pretty much everything, and my daughters. The County Ditch 62 project involves alternative tile inlets, which are just a different design that allow the water, hold the water on the landscape a little longer to allow sediment to, to filter out and to reduce the amount of corn stalks and debris that gets into the tile line. Um, it also involves a stormwater quality unit, which will also filter out sediment and corn stalks. It's like an underground holding tank. You can kind of think of it that way. And three bioreactors. The bioreactors are 135 feet long by 25 feet wide by five feet deep, and there's three of them in series. One of the key things that we're trying to promote is drainage authorities and the landowners that they uh, represent, uh, working with soil and water conservation districts and uh, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, others who can help uh, integrate public and private funding for multi-purpose water management involving drainage systems. Wood chip bioreactor design is limited by the wood chips. There is an equation that at a certain length they become ineffective in the bioreactor. So on CD62 we're using three cells to maximize the use of the wood chips because of the size of the watershed. It's simply building a five to six foot deep trench, taking the water from a tile line and allowing those wood chips and the bacteria communities that reside on the edge of the wood chips to breathe in and gas off nitrogen gas. There's also other bacterial communities that have been shown to be able to consume phosphorus. A grass swale is a shallow ditch that conveys water. Uh, the swale on CD62 was existing. Now we're modifying it to make sure that we run the overland flow around the bioreactor. Uh, the bioreactors are designed for tile flow and the debris that is an overland flow you want to separate from the bioreactor. Thus the grass swale was designed to a route around the bioreactor. The bioreactors and the t alternative tile inlets and the stormwater quality unit will be maintained by the drainage authority. If I had to give advice to anyone interested in conservation drainage, it would be research and observe the best management practices available that you could utilize in your farm field or project that you're working on. The farmer today has the responsibility to plan for the future with the least amount of environmental impact while maximizing their production to feed the ever-increasing world population. There is a trend developing for water quality. As water quality becomes more important in our rivers and streams, it's inevitable that there'll be an ever-increasing demand for water management within our society as well as our agricultural community. A landowner's first step to look at multi-purpose drainage would, may, would be to look at a list of potential practices. Uh, they under, landowners understand their land very well, and if they're educated on practices, they may be able to come up with an idea for what best can be implemented on their land and then go and seek out a professional to find out how to implement that. Uh, landowners who are on a uh, publicly administered system, uh, the first step typically will be to talk to their drainage authority and also they may want to talk to their local soil and water conservation district, uh, trying to look for opportunity uh, within all of the land that drains to that system for multi-purpose water management. 
To learn more about wood chip bioreactors and the CD62 project, contact Fairbow County or visit our partner websites. Soil health, water quality, and sustainable agriculture are key topics for the future. Be involved in conversation and learn more today.